Hey everyone, welcome back to Clinical Physio with me, Khalid Maidan. This week's video is called Read That X-Ray. Four X-rays coming up, 10 seconds to have a close look at each and see what's going on. So, here is X-ray number one. Read that X-ray. OK, time's up. So if you can look closely, you can see that this patient has a very subtle fracture at the head of their fibula. Here's x-ray number two. What do you think is going on here? Read that x-ray. Time's up. So actually, this x-ray is a bit of a trick question. The white mass-like structure is actually the sesamoid bones, and so the answer is, there is nothing wrong with this x-ray. We wanted to throw this one in, as when therapists are first starting to interpret x-rays, they may think they have found a foreign body, or perhaps something more sinister when they look at the toes, when actually, this presentation is entirely normal. OK, here is x-ray number three. Read that x-ray. All right, time's up. So in this x-ray, there is no sign of bony injury. However, we can see that the humeral head is sitting very high in relation to the glenohumeral socket. Look how close the humeral head sits in relation to the acromion, a significant reduction in the subacromial space. This is often referred to as a high-riding humerus and commonly occurs when you have a patient with a full thickness rotator cuff tear. You may expect your patient to have an element of subacromial impingement as well, due to the reduction in the subacromial space, as we said. And finally, here is x-ray number four. Read that x-ray. And time's up. So here there is a distinct bony deformity. This patient's x-ray report revealed an anterior wedge compression fracture of their L1 vertebral body. This can commonly occur amongst patients who have osteoporosis. And that completes our video. Thank you as always for watching and for more top tips, follow us on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep watching Clinical Physio.